First, what's supposed to be so scandalous about Nietzsche? Nietzsche is supposed to hold the scandalous view that knowledge is a form of power. Now that's scandalous because knowledge is knowledge. It's objective, you know, like journalism. <laughs> and it would be scandalous to show that wherever we find knowledge, we will find it structured and constructed around a system or systems of power. Won't find one without the other. Now, one can think of this along the simplest pedagogical models. By that, I mean the classroom models. I mean, I ought to know this from teaching the university. I know how to pass along knowledge. To get someone to believe me in the last analysis, I give them an A, which I could replace with a happy face. They're used to that. That's from kindergarten. They're both just symbols, right, of achievement. They're not getting paid for this stuff, right? You just give them a little A. They smile. That same system starts in kindergarten, happy face, A, runs through there. F, no face, blank. Same thing would work in kindergarten. That form I use looks fair. I mean, I'm grading objectively, but the point is deeper, that what the knowledge is based on is my spot of power as the teacher. That's what it's based on. Now, you would go, oh, no, it's based on what's really true. Yeah, but, but how does that get meted in, uh, how does that get meted out and parsed out? Who decides that? Well, the blunt and ugly answer is, we do. The teachers do. We, we decide. Now, you're going to, uh, there are clear counterexamples to Nietzsche's argument. In mathematics, at its simplest levels, I will grant you that if we're doing a mathematics course, I could grade objectively. But I will also grant you that nothing of great importance to human values hangs on truths that everyone can accept. That 2 plus 2 is 4, that A is A, are all acceptable, and they're acceptable precisely because nothing of very great human importance hangs on them. The moment you go a little beyond that in any direction, even in math class, when you discuss, for example, the philosophy of mathematics, then the disputes start, and then power at some point has to insert itself and decide. So an important part of Nietzsche's investigation is in the interconnection between forms of knowledge and power. Forms of, in, in the, for, for purposes of our course, forms of ethical behavior and power uh, are the subject of his most important book. Well, maybe not his most important, but certainly the, most, uh, the one that's uh, the most coherent on the genealogy of morals uh, by uh, Nietzsche.